Hey guys, my name is Kathleen. Welcome back to The Dental Duo. If you didn't already know, my boyfriend Nico and I recently started this YouTube channel to virtually mentor pre-dental students all around the world. Today I'll be covering letters of recommendation for dental school. So the first thing you may be wondering is, who can you ask? Generally, the application lets you include up to four letters of recommendation and a good rule of thumb would just be two science professors, one dentist, and another mentor, another faculty, or another supervisor, you know, something of that sort. This variety of recommenders ensures that you'll be meeting the letter of rec requirements for at least most of the schools that you apply to, but definitely make sure to check each school's requirements and make sure that you're getting the corresponding letters for them. So when it comes to specifically picking the recommender you want, you want to make sure it's somebody who can write you a strong letter of recommendation and would be willing to attest to your goals and accomplishments throughout your undergrad career. So for example, when you're asking a science professor, ideally this would be somebody who you've interacted with, maybe already knows your face and your name because you sit in the front row of class or you go to their office hours often. So you just wanna make sure it's somebody who kind of has an idea of who you are. You don't need to be best friends or you don't need to be going to their office hours every day, but just somebody who maybe you got an A in their class and can attest to your goals and accomplishments. So for example, while I was at UF, I asked my anatomy professor for a letter of rec because I always sat in the front row of class and I was always going out of my way to help other students in the group chat. So she had a good idea of who I was and I felt very confident that she would be able to write me a strong letter of recommendation. So now that you have a good idea about maybe who you want to ask, let's discuss the timeline of everything just so you guys are up to date on when you should be asking your recommender. It's really important to be respectful of your recommender's time because most of them are dentists or faculty members with a pretty busy schedule. So I would recommend asking one to two months in advance of when you want to submit your application. So now we're going to be talking about how to ask the recommender. You can either ask in person or through email. It's really what you feel most comfortable doing. Generally, going in person does look a little bit better, but there's really no issue with asking through email. I asked for three out of four of my letters through email and I had no issues with response times or anything. They were all pretty quick. You may have to email many possible recommenders because you may have some recommenders that don't reply fast enough or aren't engaging with you or wanting to really help you. So you want to just keep your options open and send as many emails as possible. So if you want to go the in-person route, I would first email them and ask them to set up an appointment or visit their office hours to try and get some one-on-one -on -one time with them. While you're asking them in person, I would suggest to ask for a strong letter of recommendation so that they can know how important this is. I would also let them know that you'd be happy to send over a resume or your personal statement in order to guide them and help them know the certain topics to include in the letter so that they get a good idea of who you are. And lastly, I would let them know of the due date that you would want the letter in by, which would generally be just about a few days before you submit the application. And the same thing, if you're asking through email, again, just make sure you upload a resume and a personal statement so that they can get a good idea of who you are and make sure to be asking for a strong letter of recommendation with a certain due date. So like I said, I sent most of mine through email just because I had a very busy schedule. So what I'll do right now is I'll walk you guys through a template that I use so that you guys know what certain points to hit and not forget about when you're writing your email to ensure that you're gonna get a strong letter of recommendation. So I'm gonna attach an email template here, which I used when I was emailing my science professors. So the first topic you wanna cover is when you took the class and the grade that you received. And then you wanna cover what you learned from the class and how it translates to your dental career. So then you want to upload a resume, CV, or personal statement so that they can get a better idea of who you are career-wise. And aside from that, you could also include bullet points that you may want them to cover. So for example, when I was sending this email to my anatomy professor, I asked her to include the fact that I was sitting front row in all her lectures and that I was actively going to her office hours so that she can attest to my proactive nature. And lastly, you want to thank them for considering you So as far as getting your recommender to upload the letter of rec, there's a couple different ways that you can do it. And I'll be going into more detail about it in a video I'll be making about navigating the AdSAS application. So stay tuned for that video, which will be coming out in the next couple of weeks. But basically you'll be waiving your right to see this letter. So you won't be able to see what they wrote about you. 
That's why it's very important to be asking for a strong letter of recommendation and being sure that it's somebody who can really talk about your work ethic and talk about your motivation to be a dentist. During the AdSAS application video, I'm going to be talking about uploading through Interfolio or just having the recommender upload it through email. So just to recap this whole video really quick, we talked about letters of recommendation and how a good rule of thumb would be to get two science professors, one dentist, and one other faculty member or employer. So throughout the whole AdSAS application, it's just going to be you talking about your accomplishments throughout your undergrad career. But these letters of recommendation are great because it's going to be another person attesting to all of your accomplishments and your work ethic in order to prove to admissions officers that you will be a great candidate for dental school. And then it's also important to remember that all of your recommenders are busy. It's important to give at least one to two months in advance so that they can have time to write a great letter of recommendation for you. And then regardless of if you're asking through email or in person, you want to make sure that you're giving them as much information as possible to write about you. So whether that's a personal statement or a resume, you want to make sure that you're including something of that sort so that they are very educated on the type of person you are and can write you a very strong letter of recommendation. You don't want the letter of recommendation to sound cliche. You want them to talk about extraordinary achievements or extraordinary things you've done in the past that can really make you stand out to dental school admissions. And then as you're waiting for them to submit the letter of recommendation, feel free to update them with any new accomplishments. And if it's getting close to the due date and they still haven't submitted it, don't be afraid to send them a friendly reminder email. A lot of these faculty members and dentists are very busy and sometimes they forget and that's okay. So it's important to always have constant communication with them and letting them know about the due date. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the first video of the dental school application prep series. Please stay tuned and subscribe to see the rest of the prep series content, which will be coming out in the next few weeks. We're gonna be covering personal statements, resumes, leadership and experiences, as well as navigating the whole AdSAS application so that you guys are ready and familiar with how to navigate the whole process and fill out everything that you have to fill out before the application opens so that you all submit your dental school application early. Bye guys, thank you, see you soon.